We, we are seeing so much intolerance on the left, whether it's going after the, uh, the uh, opposing point of view, calling them fake news, fake stories, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but you, you live in Manhattan and uh, at a very nice location. I'm not going to give the location, very nice apartment. I don't know if that's the one you're in right now. Could be. Uh, and you don't have to say. But uh, I'm hearing reports. I read a report that the people of your building are fighting not to have your lease uh, renewed uh, because you're who you are because you support Donald Trump. Uh, and I, I don't live here even half the time. So the apartment is MTA good amount of the time. And it is in a neighborhood where it's not outrageously expensive. Uh, and I have always paid the rent on time. And I've never had any issues of, with my two neighbors. Uh, and uh, I still have what I think are good relationships uh, with my new neighbors. My lease came up at the end of November. We expected a, re uh, a routine renewal, uh, and then we were told that the landlord, the owner of the building, the management company, wants us wants me out of the building, uh, and they give us no reason. Uh, and then when we say this doesn't make sense, they say, "Well, uh, you've been throwing trash down the stairs. You play, play loud music on the weekends." Well. The apartment's largely empty on the weekends, and I have never, obviously, thrown raw trash down the staircases. One of the, the landlord did tell one of the other tenants in the building, the commercial tenant, that he hates Trump and he wants Stone out of the building. There is the truth. It's part of this um, politically correct insensitivity uh, by the ruling elite who just can't get over it. They just can't get over it.